I am a student in fourth year of my forest management degree here at the Scottish School of Forestry um, and I've just in the last two weeks started a part-time job as an assistant woodland officer for Scottish Forestry. Scottish Forestry is the government agency responsible for forest policy, regulation and support for the forestry industry. Um, so my job is to at the, minute, at the moment um, go out and uh, carry out site inspections um, if there's been a felling permission or um, a grant application to go out and inspect the site and make sure everything's okay. I was always interested in sort of nature and the outdoors and perhaps going into a career in conservation or something like that. Um, but what led me down this route uh, was I left school without any higher qualifications, so I only had my standard grades, um, I took biology and geography, things like that, things that interested me basically. Um, and I decided that instead of going back to do my higher qualifications and study maths and English and things that I wasn't particularly interested in learning about, I actually wanted to go and learn uh, something that I was interested in. Um, so I saw the, the further education courses available here at the Scottish School of Forestry in Inverness, um, and they had courses in uh, conservation skills, forestry, um, and other things like, like that. Trees absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and as they grow they store that in their wood. The trees when they're absorbing the carbon dioxide that carbon is then stored in the wood and it remains there until the tree dies and it rots and the carbon, some of it goes into the soil and some of it's released back into the atmosphere. But if the tree is harvested as part of a forest management programme and the wood is used um, for example as sustainable building material and houses, that wood will can continue to store the carbon dioxide that tree absorbed from the atmosphere in that building. So you can actually have a carbon store in a building, you know, for several hundred years potentially, depending on the life of the building. So um, I went on to the conservation skills um, further education course. Um, that's what interested me at the time, and that gave me direct access into the higher ed education courses, the HNCs and the HNDs, and that gives you direct access right up to honours degree level and above. So you can actually leave without um, the qualifications that you would normally need um, to go to university, and through these further education courses, which are mainly practical based, going out and working on ATVs, using chainsaws, things like that, learning the practical skills to do the job, um, you can get access into the degree level qualifications. At college, um, most of my stuff now is uh, classroom based, um, so we'll be learning about environmental protection, forest management, community engagement, 